Hello everybody, I'm Hong Tai Ren from Huawei and my GitHub ID is Rainbow Mango. Maybe you have to manage multiple clusters to support development, testing and all kinds of business. And maybe you are using CNCD tools to handle that stuff. Today I want to show you a different system that will make these things easier. With the system, you can use and manage multi-cloud just like a single cluster. You don't need to change your infrastructure and don't need to change your application configurations. The system is Kiamada. It's an open cloud native and multi-cloud orchestration engine. The Kiamada project aims to offer ability to easy to easily use and manage multiple clusters. People use multi-clusters just like a single Kubernetes cluster. Before the demo, I want to give you a quick overview of the architecture and uh, the main concepts. The main components of the project include Kiamada API server, Kiamada controllers, and Kiamada scheduler. The Kiamada API server is essentially a kube API server, so people can use kube control command or client go to access it. Kiamada API server used to store users' workload configurations and Kiamada API objects. It takes etcd as its backend. The Kiamada scheduler in charge of select clusters for resource template according to policy APIs. The Kiamada provides several APIs that implemented by Kiamada controllers. The Cluster API that implemented by Cluster Controller provides a, uh, provides a representation of the member cluster that registered to Kiamada. The Propagation Policy API that implemented by Policy Controller provides a representation of the rules where resource template should propagation to. The Resource binding API that implemented by binding controller is an internal API which binds a resource template and a list of target clusters. The work API wraps a resource template. The execution controller will apply resource template to member clusters. The override policy API provides a, a capacity a capability to override resource templates before they propagate it to memory clusters. Here is an example of a propagation policy. It represents a policy that propagates all deployments that labeled with multi-zone replication and the target clusters should uh, locate in three zones. Here is the example of an override policy. It represents when a deployment should be propagated to clusters with label region DC1. The Kiamada controller should replace its image registry. This is a resource template example. Uh, don't be surprised. It's exactly the same YAML that people applied to Kubernetes. People can use kube control command to apply it to Kiamada API server. OK, I'm going to show you how to join cluster to Kiamada and then apply a resource template and then apply a propagation policy to Kiamada. At the last, we'll see how to check status 
from Kiyomada. Here I prepared a Kiyomada system and a Kubernetes cluster named the member one. Okay, let's register the member one cluster to Kiyomada. Before we join the, cl the cluster to Kiyomada, we should set kubeconfig kube first to point to Kiyomada API server. We can see all the API that is stored by Kiyomada. Here is the cluster resource. When uh, when we join a cluster, Kiyomada will create a cluster object for it. Now let's join member one. Um, we have a Kiyomada control command. We can use it to join member one with its group config. Yeah, let's check. Yes, the cluster has been joined. We can see the version mode and the status. Here is a more detailed status of the uh, member one cluster about the uh, all API enablements and uh, and uh, uh, know the summary information. Okay, now uh, I'm going to deploy a propagation policy. Let's see the policy. Samples and drinks deploy propagation policy. Yeah, the policy shows that. Um, it will deploy a, a deployment a deployment named Nginx to to cluster member one. Okay, uh, let's apply it. Yeah. Now I'm going to deploy a resource template. Let's check. It's a, a simple deployment. Now, before we deploy the deployment, deployment, we can watch the deployment on member one cluster. Yeah, first, uh, as port could config. That's what we expected. Yes. Yeah. Let's apply the deployment. Yeah. 
near. After we deploy a result template on uh, the Kia model, um, if if there is a policy matches the the results template, uh, the result template uh, will be propagated to memory clusters, and uh, after that, Kia model APS Kia model. Um, we'll collect status uh, from memory cluster and uh, we can get cluster get deployment status from Kiamada. yeah and after that if 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 we de if we delete the deployment the resource if we delete the deployment, the deployment uh, will be removed from memory clusters. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's the demo. Okay, that's all. Welcome to try it out by yourself. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact the maintainers by the GitHub issue or Slack. Thank you. Bye.